Hello and welcome to another episode. Today we'll have another commission again. So a little bit different again, but something just coming out of my... What I like to think is a creative mind, but also like a sauna from somebody else. So yeah, yeah, I got a commission basically from an ice drago boy so I'm drawing that. One thing I thought I could like kind of touch on, I might like make a whole video on it eventually but like i often heard that like people that do commissions often don't really have like that much fun with it i kind of just wanted to give like my point of view and like usually like i mean yeah like commissions is often like i don't know actually if how i describe this like correct but like okay um how i see it like often yeah you get like money for it and you like somewhat are forced to do it but for the most part i usually have like quite a lot of fun with them like i'm i mean i haven't really gotten like really specific commissions often like a lot of it is like open to creative liberty i suppose and that's like always pretty neat it's like always a help if you don't like super feel like it i suppose then it's like often nice if you can just do whatever but yeah i don't know like commissions usually i have like a, even with those i have a bunch of fun it's nice drawing and just in general like often it's even nicer having like a direction to go on than like having basically nothing just your own idea I mean, sometimes I really have like an idea where I'm like really excited about like doing that, and then I'm like, okay, I really gotta, and like sometimes I'm like in my bed, and then I'm like have an idea, and I'm considering, okay, do I get up for this again? Do I try to start my PC again for this and sketch this down? Do I maybe draw it on my my phone, like before I forget it or something like that? And like, but sometimes it's like, what the heck do I draw? You know. <laughs> I do have like a list that I keep track of where I, whenever I do have an idea, it's like, even if it's just a character or something, often I write down like a character name and that's it. And yeah, so I do have like a list that I often come back to and that I actually also used a couple of times already for this channel. For example, I believe Gna was one of them. Um, yeah, and hard to remember which ones from the top of my head right now, but the, for example, the uh, the Volpera was one of them. I believe some of the fan arts, like Chip Flag, Majira, that kind of stuff. Like, uh, those were actually like on my list. Maybe not for that long, but like, they were like, kind of, you know, I want to draw them and then, then, then. Yeah, eventually, when I don't have an idea, I still have something written down and I have something to go off. That's pretty neato, you know? But yeah. I guess it's like still, you have like those moments and those moments, right? Sometimes you even have like those kind of days where even if you have an idea, it doesn't want to work, but well, that's a whole different topic, I suppose. Um, f For this dragon, uh, he's like, like I said, he's an ice dragon, so. That's gonna mostly, I guess, pop out with the coloring. However, I did like at at the very end add like a little bit of stuff that's like reminiscent of that. Um, the beard basically is not like really a beard, but it's like actually ice kind of. And then like on the horns, basically, I made like ice eventually as well. I thought like maybe a little bit of snow on the hair could be nice. We'll see about that. I'm not exactly really sure on that. Like in the sketch, it like you can't really tell yet either. I just like somewhat indicate a little bit later on. Um, overall, like the neck is like super fluffy and then it gets like a little bit less as it goes. So that's like somewhat I tried to some, uh, kind of capture already in the sketch. Um, overall, he's a bit fluffy, but yeah, it gets less as it's further away from that, I suppose. Um, Usually like I wanted to add like a bunch of detail to it, but it's like usually I'm actually kind of it's kind of tricky for me If it's not just uh, fur or often through the fur I add like a lot of detail on bodies at least If I don't have that it can be a little bit tricky, but I feel like I somewhat managed So that's neat. We'll see how it goes like in line art There's like a bunch that also like where it can convey a bunch of more stuff. In Sketch, it's like mainly where everything goes and that kind of stuff. The main parts that are important. We'll see. I mean, there's not a lot that I add in Line Art, but yeah. 
that I can like maybe see what kind of detail I want to keep. But yeah, overall, like here, you can also see as it's done now, there's like a little bit of snow on the head as well, on the ear, on the horns, and on the, on the hair. But yeah, overall, I think this is quite nice so far, and I'm actually myself excited as well where we go from here, how I'll do with the line art and all that kind of stuff. Hey, since you made it till the end, I would assume that you enjoyed the video. If that's the case, hug that like and subscribe button and see you in the next one.